you were very honest. You said this is going to be hard for people. People are going to have to face yes. up to the fact that this is going to be very... This has been a disaster, right? Let's not mince our words. I mean, this has been an absolute nightmare for the country. The country's gone through a profound shock. But in those moments, you have the opportunity to change and to do things better. What you can't do, I think, at this moment is go back to what people called austerity. I mean, it wasn't actually austerity, but people called it austerity. And I think that would be a mistake. This is a, a moment now to give our country the, uh, the skills, the infrastructure, the long-term investment that we need. So that's why we're so putting... So no, cu- no public sector that's cuts. What, that's why we're putting money now into uh, education, uh, further education, billion-pound package going into, into, into schools. I think this is the moment for a, you know, a, a Rooseveltian approach to... The UK but you will have to really, balance the books and at really some point, moving it forward. Yes, and let me let me explain that I, I do think that the uh, the investment will pay off. When you look at the the the, the pressure on on the NHS, uh, compare. I'm afraid this wonderful country of ours to other European countries. We are significantly fatter than 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 most other. You know, I think apart from the Maltese for some reason. What I'm saying about obesity <laughs> is I care. I think it matters, and I don't think I don't think politicians can treat it as irrelevant. It does matter. It's hugely costly for the NHS. It's a, it's a serious national issue. Now, how you talk about it, how you address it, how you practically make the difference, mm. that's what we're looking at. Can we just go back to schools? Because I think a lot of parents...